What's up guys, Linux Noob here with another video. Now if you follow the channel then you already know that Peppermint OS 6 is what I'm using on this machine right now as my daily driver and Peppermint OS right now is one of my most favorite Linux distributions out there. Now in this video I'm going to talk about a few things that I would really like to see being implemented in the next version of Peppermint OS which is likely to be called Peppermint OS 7. These are the things that I think will make a great addition to the already great Peppermint OS and this will make Peppermint OS even better. So without further ado, let's get started. Now in this video we won't be talking about the most obvious things, things that are already most likely to happen. For example, uh, basing the next version of Peppermint OS 6, sorry, the Peppermint OS on top of the next LTS release of Ubuntu, which is the 16.04 release. Now uh, unless uh, the Peppermint team chooses to do something like completely switching their base to base it on something like Debian or something. Uh, uh, unless that happens, this is quite obvious and if they do that, uh, they're obviously going to get all the benefits that the Ubuntu 16.04 comes with, like a newer kernel, so better hardware support, uh, and other things like the ability to run newer frameworks like the Qt5 framework and things like that. These are the obvious things, we are not going to get into that, but instead, uh, in this video we are going to talk about things that are less likely or less obvious is what I would say uh, but still I think will make a great addition to the next version of Peppermint OS. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is the menu. Now on my Peppermint OS 6 review video this was easily the biggest complaint I had about Peppermint OS 6 and that is not having a menu that is more functional. Now the menu that uh, Peppermint OS 6 ships with is the default uh, uh, menu that application menu that comes with the LXDE desktop environment and in my opinion it's simply not good enough anymore in 2016. Uh, this kind of iterates what uh, Windows 95 or 98 had giving you just a simple list of applications but nowadays in 2016 we have so many uh, application menus that are so much more functional like if we uh, see the whisker menu on XFCE side of things the mate menu or the mate menu uh, that's having that search panel over there is so much more convenient having those extra buttons and extra options over there it's just so much convenient and better in compared to what we have over here so uh, having something implemented in the next version of Peppermint OS in my opinion will definitely be a good addition now uh, in one of my videos most probably it was the Peppermint OS 6 review video that I did uh, one of the Peppermint developers came uh, and commented that it's not really that tough to incorporate something like that in Peppermint OS since it's already running the desktop environment of XFCE that is the XFWM4 uh, window manager so it's not that tough technically to implement something like that so uh, having something like that will in my opinion will definitely make the next version of Peppermint OS better now the next thing that I would like to see implemented is the addition of a unified control center now right now on Peppermint OS 6 if we go to the Peppermint Control Center we can see there are options that are mostly related to the XFWM4 window manager and a few other things. Uh, as I can say by looking at this, this has a lot of similarities with the uh, XFCE settings panel but there are a lot of other settings that are not here. Now that doesn't mean that a Peppermint OS doesn't have those settings and options of course as you can see there the options are here but they are just under different banners now having one unified control center really makes things a lot more convenient and easier to find things whatever setting you need you just know that uh, you have to go to that one panel and it will be there now this is not a new concept but by any means there are other Linux distributions that has already been doing this for quite some time 
Uh, two of the examples I can think of right now are Linux Mint and Manjaro Linux. And of course, Windows has been doing this for quite a long time now with that entire control panel thing. In my opinion, it's just a better way of organizing things and it makes the entire experience a lot more convenient. So, uh, the addition of a unified control center, in my opinion, will be a great addition to the next version of Peppermint OS. Now lastly, one more little thing I would really like to see is the inclusion of a few more themes by default. Right now, it ships with three to four themes of its own, and that's really it. Now, it's not really a problem, as you can always go onto the internet and there are literally thousands of themes and icon packs available. You can just download the ones you like and use it. But at the same time, having a few more options in terms of look and feel by default will be something nice to have. Again, this is not really a major thing, but will be something nice to have in the next version. So these are really the three things I can think as of now that I would really like to see being implemented on the next version of Peppermint OS. Now one more thing that all I'd like to talk about in this video is regarding the desktop environment. Now this is one change that I'm not really expecting to see in the Peppermint OS 7 but this is something that needs to happen eventually. Now, one of the things that I like the most uh, and I think one of the most unique features of the Peppermint OS 6 is these unique desktop environment, this unique hybrid desktop environment that they have going on. They use LXD as the base, but at the same time, they use the XFWM4 window manager, with the, which is the window manager of the XFCE desktop. Now what that does is it really keeps the system resource requirements to a minimum while giving you the functionality that uh, some of the functionality that the XFCE desktop brings to you like uh, window snapping and transparency and things like that. This is a great implementation in my opinion but there is a problem with it right now. Now as we already know that LXD as a desktop environment is no longer under active development anymore. Uh, they are shifting on to the LXQT desktop environment. But we all know that uh, as of right now, LXQT is not as efficient to system resources as LXDE is. So eventually they have to shift on onto something else they might be shifting to the LXQT desktop environment completely, they might be shifting to the XFCE side of things, or they might go with something completely different. Uh, one of the desktop environments that I think personally will fit perfectly is the Mate or Mate desktop environment. So I'd like to uh, have some information from the developer team as to what they are thinking about it, uh, what they're gonna do next. Now. As of right now, absolutely this is working just fine, so if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Uh, that's why I'm not expecting to see this huge change in the next, very next version of Peppermint OS. But at the same time, this is something we know is inevitable. This is something that needs to have happen eventually. So uh, I would like to have just some indication or some information from the team itself, the Peppermint team itself, as to what they are thinking about it. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Which features would you like to see being implemented in the next version of Peppermint OS? As always, like the video if you like it. Leave your feedback in the comment section down below and do subscribe to the channel for more Linux videos. And I'll see you in the next video.